Hi, welcome to Miss Binger's Studio and Art Class. In today's lesson, we will be learning how to create pin pots using the basic technique of pinching. Please follow the step-by-step -step instructions to create your unique pinch pot. Step 1. Wedging your clay. Be sure to wedge your clay in order to remove any air bubbles before you start. Push in a downward motion, rolling the clay back upon itself. Step 2. Checking for air bubbles. Use a wire tool to check for air bubbles. Slice the clay open at its center. Look for visible air bubbles. If there are none, push the clay back together and wedge it again. Step 3. Shaping your clay into a ball. After wedging, use the heel of your hand to shape your ball of clay into a round ball about the size of an orange. You can also cup it with your hands to keep that round shape. Step 4. Starting your pinch pot. Begin your pinch pot by pushing your thumb about two-thirds of the way down in the center of your ball of clay. Step 5. Pinching technique. Continue pinching from the bottom up. Continually rotate the ball of clay in your hand as you pinch around. If you want it to be wider, you're going to pinch out as you move around. If you want it to be taller, you're going to pinch up. Use the heel of your hand to round out the bottom if it gets flat. Step 6. Adding a foot. Making a coil. To make a coil, use a small piece of clay and roll it between your hands. You can also roll your coil against the surface that you're working on. Start in the center and work your way outward. Once your coil is finished, measure it across the bottom of your pinch pot to make sure that it is the right length. Use a fettling knife to cut the excess clay off and discard. Step 7. Adding a foot. Slip and score technique. Before attaching your foot, make sure your slip is ready. It should be the consistency of a thick cream. Prepare the surface by scoring. You can use a fettling knife or a pin tool to make crosshatch marks on both your foot and the surface of your pot. Once you've finished scoring, you can now add the slip. The slip acts as a glue between the two pieces of clay, securely attaching them. Put the slip on your pinch pot so that you can fill in all of the airspace between your pot and your foot. Place your foot on your pinch pot over the slip. Attach the foot securely using a wooden tool. Push the wooden tool into the coil and pull down onto your pinch pot. Smooth the surface and clean up any excess slip using the wooden tool. Step 8. Smoothing your surface. Start smoothing with a serrated edged rib. Second step is a smooth edge rib that can be metal or hard plastic. The third step is a soft rib. It will be a flexible plastic. To smooth your pot, be sure to use this three-step process. Use the serrated edged rib to smooth out the surface of your pot, to make something more level or even, and to make your pot look symmetrical. You'll notice there may be some highs and lows, or mountains and valleys. Use the serrated edge rib to bring all of the clay down to one level. Next, use the smooth edged metal rib or the hard plastic rib to smooth the entire surface of your pinch pot. Make sure to do the outside, inside, lip, and foot. The last step in achieving a professionally smooth surface on your pinch pot is to use the soft plastic rib. Use this rib until you are completely satisfied with the surface of your pinch pot. Do not fire your pot until it has reached a bone dry state. 